In this video, I'll show you how to use MIDI CCs with Contact 5 and FL Studio 12. So first of all, I'm going to open up a Contact plugin. And I'm using Cinematic Studio Strings. Now some plugins have CCs already and some don't. So this one has them already defined. So if I just open this menu, I'm going to use CC11 volume and let's try to automate something with that. So before clicking this off, I can go to the menu, browse parameters, and then go down to all the MIDI CC lists and find number 11, which says expression controller. If you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can just kind of tweak it around. And if you do have one, link to controller and then move your knob or mod wheel. All right, now if I go to automation, MIDI automation and move the mod wheel, CC11 is being triggered. Okay, I can click that off now and let's just record something in. So I'm going to record notes as well as playing the mod wheel at the same time, but you can do them separately as well. You can record notes in first and then do another take and move just the mod wheel or whatever slider you have. So I'm going to do everything. Okay, let's open up the piano roll to see what we have. Uh, before I do that, I can paste in to the playlist. So you can see in the background, there's this little wave and that's the automation. So if we open the piano roll, we can actually tweak that. So all the notes are here and by default, it has a control velocity, uh, but you can change that. And it might not be under here. Um, it's under pattern controls down here. Uh, MIDI CC11 expression controller. So that's the waveform that kind of came out. I can go in and maybe lower this a little bit just by left clicking. Now you kind of lose some of the smoothness so you can hold alt and sort of smoothen that out. It's really hard to control with the mouse though so it's actually better to just record it in and don't bother too much about it or editing it. Okay that will have to do. So the second way to do an automation or do MIDI CC automation is to, you just use automation clips in FL Studio. So without recording into the piano roll, we can make an automation clip and just have plain notes um, using that data. So first of all, I'm just going to create a new pattern and just type in a single note and we can automate this one. So for next, I'm going to add automation for last tweak parameter. We can also add an automation clip, but because we already tweaked that knob before in the list of CCs, we now have access to that directly. So MIDI CC number 11 expression controller. So now we can just draw in any random curve that we want. Let's just make this go up and down so you can hear how it's changing. Okay and turn that off. Uh, make sure you're playing it in the playlist or else you won't hear the automation clip. Okay, so that's the way to use MIDI CCs and, and specifically CC11, but for any other MIDI CC, it's gonna be the same. And lastly, if your contact instrument doesn't have um, MIDI CC, you can actually just go and make that yourself. So if we just opened a new instance of contact and then just double clicked here, just pretend that's an instrument. And then you click on this wrench, you go to edit uh, the group editor, edit all groups. And then down here under amplifier, you have mod. So click that and then add modulator, external sources, MIDI CC, and then you can uh, double click this type 11 and over here 127. And that means that value is the starting value for the MIDI controller or the MIDI CC, sorry. And you can control CC 11 in this way as well.